my name's Miriam Batty and my play is called The Virgins. The play all takes place over one night. We've got four girls getting ready in a bathroom and two boys playing video games in the living room. And really what we see that night is all of these characters deciding that tonight is the night they're gonna start their sex lives, basically. They're making that decision. Instead of letting the universe decide when that's gonna be for them, they're going, we're gonna start our sex lives tonight. This is the beginning of the rest of our lives. And um, it's really about what happens uh, when they come up to the question, what do you want? And they have to answer it. So I never really wanna write a play where I ask a question that I think is really easily answered. I kind of want to live in more of an ambiguous and complicated space. So that was definitely like what I was trying to do. I was trying to like really actively complicate in this play, in the writing of this play. I uh, started being a playwright when I was in my teenage years. Um, I went to youth theatre in Manchester and I uh, got asked if I wanted to write something for the youth theatre and I said yeah, because I was really crap at acting. and. Um, and I completely, you know, literally, lightning bolt, totally fell in love with it, no chance of ever wanting to do anything else. And now I am like, what, 12 years later from like that first time, and I am still doing it. I never gave up on doing it. So yeah, I'm a playwright. Um, I also write for telly as well, which is kind of new and terrifying. Um, and that's sort of me, yeah. I entered because like anyone, I wanna love to see this play on. I think like in any playwright, you, you don't want your play to sit on your laptop or on a piece of paper. You desperately want it to be in front of people and you kind of want to throw it out to the universe and see what they, they make of it and see what actors make of it. So um, this, I just saw this as a chance to maybe get that to happen. And the fact that I'm, it's got this far is just amazing to me that this like weird, weirdo play that was in my head actually might have some legs, yeah. I think like write your secret shameful play and send it in and it might it might go well. <laughs>I think even if I wasn't writing plays that anyone ever read or saw, I'd still be a writer, you know what I mean? I, I think ultimately there's something about the experience of like trying to answer a question by getting people to like rabbit on about it that just makes, satisfies me in some way. So I think ultimately that's why I'm a writer. But um, it's sort of, it's, it's, it's a kind of magical special thing and I feel very, very grateful for it this year that I can like live in worlds of fiction at the moment. But um, yeah. To be honest, like looking at the finalists, and to be honest, quite a lot of the shortlist of those who I know, I'd be quite keen to see whatever play had come out of any of those writers. So any like any new play. So I'm kind of, I'm I'm like reasonably, reasonably psyched about whatever's gonna whoever's gonna win. I'm genuinely amazed to be a part of them, and I'm, I think it's, uh, uh, I'm just excited to see whatever they've come up with. To be honest.